WWE tournament simulation of course and <coughs> the layout is we have three triple threat matches and then we're going to have a final fatal four way match all the matches are down the matches as per the champion Natalie um, and oh, Shawn Michaels and Andre the Giant so I'm represented by Okada uh, Steven is represented by uh, Shawn Michaels and Charlie's got his son Andre the Giant <laughs> Um, I'll say purely because of the land match on the Giants probably at a disadvantage because of his size but we'll see I'd say probably Okada or Michaels I'd, I'd say probably Michaels is the favourite purely because of his experience with uh, land matches but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when we get into the match <coughs> so here comes Kashkudo Okada, the Rainmaker. Former IWGP World Heavyweight or IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Longest reigning IWPG Champion, I think, if I remember correctly. Absolute beast in real life. Him and Kenny Omega have had some of the best matches I've ever seen. If you don't watch New Japan Pro Wrestling, I'd recommend it entirely. Some great wrestlers over there. Enough of that. <laughs> now we move on to Sean Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. There's no real difference between his 97 and 98 model in like attributes wise. It looks a little bit different, this entrance is a little bit different, I think. For the classic SmackDown Arena, because it's a really cool arena. Um, well, the, the timed one to the side kind of thing looks really cool. Also, like the, um, the old Fist Arena, that's pretty cool. There's no. I might make a. Uh, well, I might download the next box title actually. After this tournament, to give to the winner, because the Royal Rumble winner has a title. So, I was thinking I might do after this. For now, I might just give Triple H a title just to defend in the uh, Fatal Four Way. And he comes under the giant. Eighth one of the world, supposedly. Andre's entrance is a bit meh, so I'm just gonna skip that and get into the action. Sorry, Charlie. So we are, the first match of the tournament, let's go. Michael goes straight outside and leaves the card and Andre to fight inside. <coughs> Michael is bringing in the ladder. And a card I'm going to shoulder block on Andre. The shoulder block there from Mikado into uh, up with a uh, Santon. Back Santon splash there from Mikado. And Mikado and Michael's fighting even Andre to stop the ladder. But he's not going to climb it just yet. And Ricardo goes to uh, Andre. Michael falls out the ring. 
And even a card and Andre to face off for a bit. Good five minutes carry from Andre. And throws a card into the ladder and again. And a race his eye. Andre's just dominating the card moment. Michael's going for the title. Andre not doing anything. There we go, slowly climbing the ladder. Michael's just let go to uh, uh, face Andre. But this guy's trying to push that away. I don't think he's got the strength to do so. He doesn't know. Too much weight up there. Michael's bullying Andre though. And there goes Andre. And then I kind of finally pushed the lad over. Introduced the lad, I should make this for my card. And the card is now climbing up, he's looking to unhook the briefcase. Michael's gonna meet him up there. And then I go to oh Michael's got the battle just straight up top. Michael's is in. Michael's is on the briefcase. Andre's just Oh no. Oh, Michael's just dominating uh, at the top of the ladder. There. And I'm across again for another level, but I kind of jumping up and hitting me in the back. And again, still holding on to it though. Michael's refusing to let go. Ah, yes, finally let go. Tell people, I said people I'm just going to stream and everyone wants to talk to me, so I'm a bit quiet. Michael was introduced to Stalin to Andre's face. Let's see if Michael was going to um, get his briefcase. Andre stops him. He doesn't need to jump really, he can reach up and slap him in the back. And he's going to pull Michael's off. Yep. Oh, power bomb. Nice. Oh, the kind of throws on the right side. Khan and Andre fighting outside, even Michael's by himself in the ring. Oh dear. Khan is not paying any attention to me now. He's gonna climb up. I'm sure Michael's wins. So Michael's goes through to the final. First entrant into the uh, a final. Right, the next match is uh, an interesting one, to say the least. I was going to be on the tonight, but one of my rough, rough an old arena. I think I've an old arena. Oh, oh. That's it for as well. Right, so we have uh, Shame Man, uh, 
Find the one. And the beast incarnate. Okay, no. Um, shame at man the underdog for sure in this, but he's known to play out the, the impossible types, so let's see what we can do. Oh, that's the first time I've met shame at man. Dancing his way around, uh, dancing his way down to the ring. Extending some of the new shamans actually facing the fast before when you were um, when when you had the, uh, the legacy behind him, he faced the uh, McMahon family. I think when you were famed for a uh, punting Fintan in the head and DDT and Walker and Ste uh, Stephanie. Like Shane Triple H and Fins vs. Legacy, that's a pretty cool matchup. The traditional pose and when you're on with the uh, briefcase right behind him, it's a pretty cool show actually. Here comes probably the favourite. Probably the same situation as Andre, as in like a big bulky guy. Um, not sure if it's the ladder, but that's no. It will add you, I think. And Andre. I haven't updated the titles because it's just normal WWE mode, like right the quick match mode, so. This is the Universal Champion. You get to miss his skip, uh, his little jump, so fuck him. So in this match we've got Shane McMahon wrestling in by Irish D, which says two Ds. If Shane McMahon wins this, it'll be really annoying for the final. Randy Orton represented by Spence, and Brock Lesnar represented by Ryan. Lesnar's getting the ladder in. Randy Orton goes to fucking Shane McMahon. Looking to end it early here. Show me a quick to a uh, quick ones. And all's not going to go up and meet him. Shane hasn't got the strength, has he? He doesn't know. Orn's up and Shane's starting to rail on him. 
Und let go. Expecting Shane to come up and Shane delayed himself actually to punk out Orton. But Shane's getting double teamed now essentially. And the f Shane falls into Lesnar and knocks him down. It's the open Orton needs. Both of us are down, Orton's in a prime position here. Lesnar's first to get up out the two on the floor. He stops Orton maybe just in time. Let's let go. And Orton falls. Shane taking the opportunity while Lesnar bails on Orton. And Lesnar's going to climb up for the... No! Oh, Shane Man wins! <laughs> <laughs> A plucky underdog, Shane McMahon, takes the advantage when he can. Comes up and takes the briefcase. So we've got two Stevens in the finals right now, which is annoying for me, because I've got a cover date. So we've got uh, Sven and Steve. They haven't had a different, it's fine. Or three, I should say. Three and Sven and more. Um, and now we've got the final Triple threat match today. YouTube be a this YouTube video be a decent link actually. I'm not too long, but not too short. Uh, and we have let's change the video. Uh, see you next day. What's all include all features? Uh, and we're gonna have uh, Undertaker, Modern Taker. We're gonna have uh, Stone Cold. And we're gonna have Jeff Hardy. That's how I'm painted. So we've got Undertaker represented by Dan, got Stone Cold represented by Owen, and Jeff Hardy represented by Billy. Farley left in the favour of his um, references with uh, references with his uh, history, even with uh, with, history, with other matches. I see Jeff Hardy and his brother Matt, famed for other matches, TLC matches. Name he doesn't, he's on it. Take a once famously though like, beat Jeff Hardy in a ladder match, so. Never know. There's something called spinning in other matches, but I don't think he's won one. First, he comes take on. Longest entrance in existence.
Oh, let's skip it, please. Oh, let's take off my phone. No, let's skip it. I need to be someone to keep the entrance in. So the eyes. That was it. Someone to keep it in for me. Called a long time adversary of Taker, especially not the late nineties. Mad, uh, rough really dude. Shame you don't do the middle fingers anymore in the game because that's what you're saying for. Um, finally, with Jeff Hardy. Doesn't have an entrance, I'm afraid. No, I created one, so I'll skip his entrance. This is probably the tightest out of the three um, triple threat matches. In my opinion, anyways. Take a no call pairing off with Jeff Hardy able to suck the ladder. Not good coverage just yet though. Also take on some cold. Gives him a side uh suplex. Bad break up thing. Don't know the moves it seems, but some cold do the back body drop there to Jeff Hardy. And he throws him into the ropes. And there's cash heads. Jeff Hardy throws Stone Cold into that ladder. There's a stunner to him. Oh, that's interesting. Take him in the now, Cash Heads. And Jeff Hardy delivers a swinging net breaker to take her. Jeff Hardy, a moment. Taking control, taking on both Taker and Stone Cold. That's on the wing of from Jeff Hardy. Nice jaw breaker, too. He targeted. He targeted Taker, but uh, Jeff Hardy wants to get to Taker. Our Stone Cold turns his attention to Taker. He's doing just enough damage to put him off. He stopped. And he has a power bomb, maybe? Oh, Taker throws him off. And Stone Cold is right back at him. And he goes and Pulls him off this time. Jeff Hardy's gonna sneak in the back door here. It's no card once again on the attack. This time on the attack of Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy throws him off. Oh no. And then Jeff Hardy comes down this time. And there's a Big power driver which knocks the ladder over. Let's take that ring. Sort of corner. That's where he goes. That's knee to the chest from some cold. 
and elbow drop them so hard in the middle rope. Uh, side get got wrench power bomb. No, or two bits in. Here he comes to do first press. No cold. Take us back in the ring now. There's a DDT to some cold. So go back for the drops to take off. If I just climb into the ropes to get up, it's a stun from Stone Cold on the Taker. First finish we've seen from the tournament, so it shows you how long this match has actually gone on compared to the other two. If I take the ladder, misses with that swing there. Stone Cold, oh, if I dodges that, and then if I introduces Stone Cold to the ladder, and Stone Cold rolls to the outside. Now I'm going to set the ladder up. And you can climb. And you set the briefcase, and both Stone Cold and Take were down. Take a uh, rising to his feet. And he's going to. He misses that attack. And that's why, because Jeff Hardy's got it. So we have our three finalists now. Jeff Hardy, Shawn Michaels, Shane McMahon. We're going to face Triple H in the final. Interesting final. Let's go to WrestleMania. Go to final. In the evening time. Make a time match. So we've got the champion to come out first, which is Triple H. We have the end of the first one, which is Shawn Michaels. That's Jeff Hardy the winner on the third one. Oh. And they will be pe competing. Uh, yeah, they will be competing for. Uh, the title, so that'd be nice. Um, the. Undisputed title for now. And then I'll download a an Xbox um title to give to the winner of this match. All these a ladder match in the past. So be interesting to see how the match turned out to be. because we've seen all the industries by triple H's so. Triple H, we are Bowles and all. We've got Triple H and Shawn Michaels who are best mates. So, Jeff Hardy's got no relation to any of them really. Jeff 
probably had a really good feud with Trip Lash actually for the WWE title in 2009. Trip Lash seems to be the one that links them all together. Well, I'll do this bit first and then I'll skip it. This is the most famous uh, scene at the entrance. There's a tie in the background. There we go, we've got Triple H and Joe Man pairing off and Michaels and Jeff Hardy pairing off. Both Triple H, I want to say both Triple H and Jeff Hardy getting just the best, the bet off the their opponent for now, but that's changed in both fights. Just falls to the outside. Jeff and Michael was playing uh the one outside each other, Jetman gets in the middle of that and starts on Sean Michaels. And even Jeff Hardy goes to Triple H. That's Hulk one of them uh, Jeff Hardy. That's the next feet from Sean Michaels. That put drop from Triple H on the outside. So you've got Triple H, the champion, represented by Natalie, the champion. Sean Michaels, represented by Steven, or, or Sven. Got a Shane Man, represented by Steve, or Free to Say No More. And Jeff Hardy, represented by Billy. Or Tanniki James, more than Junior the Twins. Triple H and Jeff Hardy are pretty high up the, uh, the ramp actually. Sean Michael also checked man gets the advantage in the ring and puts that up. That might have a fair advantage on getting the uh, title down. There's the, the eight members that are in control of right? the First of the commentator, both Shank Man and Jeff Hardy were first their moves. Sean Michael's getting up so sorry in the man's waiting for him in the middle rope. And there's a nice missile drop kick. It's a suplex onto the ramp from Jeff Hardy and Triple H. It's a stunner from Jeff Hardy again. I think these people have forgotten it's a ladder match. Someone's going for ladder and Jeff Hardy and Triple H are still climbing up the ramp. Camus on to rig out as well. Jamal's doing a pile driver in the ring. The X shot from Triple H. And Michael's now getting the ladder. So far up the ramp, Triple H and Jeff Hardy are the camera having the swing round. Michael's gonna set the ladder up. Jamal's sorts him. Michael sorts himself, interesting man. Can't man now setting the ladder up. And then puts it back up, puts it or puts it down to looking to attack Sean Michaels with it, but it's stopped. And Michael's now in his hand and he gets punched in the face by Shane McMahon. It's a big elbow drop from Shane and Jeff I now nope. Always can return to the ring but he isn't. 
You might now know because Shout Man's sticking to climb the ladder. The nice suplex from Jeff Hardy. So Shawn Michaels and Shout Man up. There he comes, Jeff Hardy. He's real asked what kind of match it is. He's main sort of thing. He'll try to push that out of over. Triple H, they no, finally remembered what kind of match it is. All four back in the ring now, and Chipman's got his hands on the title. And here comes Triple H to push the ladder over. You can't. Chipman lets go of the title now. Sean Michaels and Jeff Hardy break the fight outside. Throw each other to help push the ladder over and then go Shane as a red bounce on the ladder the plate rolls to the outside and Shawn Michaels then throws to fire the outside himself and then Shawn Michaels free to set the ladder up both Jeff Hardy to H down Shawn Michaels make man down in the ring it's gonna be Trying to stop him, man, Triple H. Yeah, oh, the double landing there. I mean, Shane open to grab the title. Sure, Buck was well to the outside. And Jeff Hardy stop him in time, he can. Just. just another jump in, full on. That's not going to stop Shape Man, and Shape Man wins the. Uh, the Xbox tournament for free to say no more or stay. The plucky on Dolph Shankman wins not only triple threat match but the, the fatal foray as well. Jeff Hardy tried to stop him but it wasn't enough. Shankman walks away with the title. Congratulations to Steve. Congratulations to the Man is now the reigning Xbox champion. And that's the end of the video. Congratulations again, Steve. And uh, I'll see you all next time for my next tournament. Adios.